Comrades, you know, today, you look at trade unions leading the way, and you look at the politicians who seem to have got with a consensus, which is all about destroying public services and capitalising this greed that goes forward through. And I do think to myself, you know, trade unions are not there to consult on terrible proposals and make them least worse for workers. Trade unions are there to fight for our members, to fight for our society and to fight for a better future. That's what the Fire Brigade Union is doing it. We're doing it alongside every other trade union. I believe trade unions are the way forward. The only thing I can say now is up the workers. Thank you. on zero-hour contracts. Thank you. Mayday greetings from Bristol Trades Council. The Trades Council's the collective voice of organised labour in this city, and we're here today to celebrate the solidarity of organised labour around the world and here in Bristol. One of the things that the government is uh, embarking on is a further 30,000 job cuts in the HMRC, the tax uh, department. Now, this results in a situation where the rich and privileged and companies pay less and less tax and are subject to less and less uh, scrutiny. These uh, uh, jobs are on top of 50,000 or more jobs which have gone over the last uh, uh, 10 years under various uh, governments. We want a situation, we could solve the austerity, and the, the gap, the, this uh, uh, deficit uh, gap that the government talks about, merely on the basis of enforcing tax on the rich, tax that they're entitled to pay, tax that companies like Amazon and so on are entitled to pay for the work that they do in this country. No public sector cuts! No it! No cuts! No public sector cuts! No it! Bristol City Council in September had 15 one-bedroom properties available for 497 needing one bedroom accommodation. Many have to rely on soup kitchens to feed their families. This was a 1930 thing. Now the Bristol and District Anti-Cuts Alliance, which is four years old in a couple of months time, has steadfastly refused to buy into this line that there is no alternative to the cuts. These cuts are a continuation of what Thatcher couldn't finish. And the bankers' crisis of 2008 was a marvellous excuse for them to be able to dress up this ideological attack on our rights and conditions by saying the country can't afford it. Office staff at UPS in Emerson's Green were threatened with a cut in their hours and therefore their pay, while still being expected to do the same amount. They all, every single one of them, joined the union and fought for months to resist what was essentially a pay cut, and they won. Bob Crow once said, privatisation is a corrosive and expensive political project doomed to repeat and costly failure. Fiddling with processes won't work. It's the whole rotten policy that needs dumping with a return to public ownership. But we need more than ever before a leadership of our movement that shows the same commitment to fighting for working class people and justice as the Tories and the rich do for their people. We need a Labour movement that can actually take the decision that it's now time to say to all the mainstream politicians, you either, either come out against the cuts or you are placing yourself in opposition to what we need. If you fight, you make lose. But if you don't fight, you will lose. This is the start of a fight back to protect and save the NHS. That is the reason why for the last few years the National Union of Teachers have been joining with other teacher unions, other education unions and other unions to fight back against these attacks. We cannot 
allow this to continue. They want to sell off wholeheartedly education to the private sector. We're going to go forward. We're going to go forward with it and build up upon this day. This is International Workers' Day. And Bob Crow, he was a true internationalist. He not only fought for his own members, but he fought for workers around the world. He was respected around the world. He was an inspiration to the entire Labour and the trade union movement all around the world. He would have loved nothing better than to have seen this or even to have been here speaking. I'm going to keep this short because what I'm going to be saying is, and this is what Tony Benn would have said and certainly what Bob would have said, don't mourn, organise.